Hello friends, it's my great honor and privilege today to bring to each one of you Christmas greetings and a brief reflection on Christmas. Let me on behalf of the pastoral team from AG Church Kolkata wish you and your family a blessed and Christ-centered Christmas and a glorious new year. How many of you like to hear news? Your HR at work shares with you that your salary is raised. Your husband tells you that tomorrow I'm taking you to the market to buy you a gold necklace. Your principal tells you that the school is granting you double promotion. Dad tells the family we are taking a family vacation to a hill station. These are all welcoming news. 2000 years ago, the first Christmas was a welcoming news to our world. Today, I want to consider three news about Christmas. The first was a breaking news. When something happens in our world, the TV channels stop all the other news and share with us the breaking news. In the first Christmas, God shares the breaking news uh, to a couple of people about the birth of his son, Jesus. Joseph and Mary received the breaking news that Jesus will be born in their home by a supernatural birth. The angels came to the shepherds and gave them the breaking news. Jesus, the Savior and Lord, is born in the town of David. The wise men received the breaking news by a unique star that appeared in the sky, indicating an extraordinary event has taken place with the birth of a newborn king. Secondly, the first Christmas was the good news. The angels announced to the shepherds like this, Don't be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy to all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, who is Christ the Lord. We have exciting news and not so exciting news too. The fact is, the world is filled with so much of bad news, violence all around us, rape of not only women but minor girls, hatred and anger towards fellow human beings, unfaithfulness in relationships, business partners cheating each others, heartaches due to COVID-19 snatching our loved ones away, from us. In the midst of so much of bad news in our world, it is refreshing to hear some really good news on the first Christmas and even today that Jesus came into our world for you and me. The good news is Jesus came to love us for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Joy, the angel's announcement to the shepherds, I bring you good news of great joy to all the people. Peace, the angels at the announced of the birth of Jesus Christ and they sang glory to God in the highest and peace on earth and goodwill to man. Hope, today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Thirdly, the first Christmas offers us super news. God offers relationship with us. The greatest gift anyone can receive is not material things but friendship. God offers friendship to us 
to enjoy life with him here and now and forever unending life god's ha- heart at christmas is expressed in john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life friends god loves you he came for you and me he is our emmanuel god with us you are not alone may god bless you and your family this christmas season in a very special way